Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for coming back. And if you're new, welcome. We hope to see you uh, more often. Today's recipe will be inspired by something that you can get at Disney World. And to be more specific, as you can see on the background, at the Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. The Disney's Polynesian Resort is really maybe our number one. Maybe our number one. I'm saying maybe because uh, we have a top three. Polynesian Resort, the Contemporary, and the Floridian. And to keep something within our budget range, we uh, also go to the Art of Animation. But that's a different story. <laughs> I'm, I'm sidetracking it, I'm sorry. So, uh, this recipe is inspired, like I said, by something that you get at Disney, in Disney World, at the Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, and to be more specific, at um, what they call these places there in English, counter service, uh, cafes that you have there which is called Captain Cooks as you can see on the background this is the website and uh, let me just take you through it so if you go on their website Disney World you type in uh, Captain Cook you get their way page you get their opening hours and all that as you can see they're every day open between 7 a.m. and 12 a.m. so pretty much almost 24 hours as long as you're awake they're open uh, the meal meal pricing, they have lunch and dining menu that starts, oh, that ends at $14.99 and under per adult. And then they have the breakfast menu, uh, which is the same price, if I'm correct. I'm just wondering why they're not starting with the breakfast first, because the day starts with the breakfast, but this is how they do it. But what I'm going to show you today is not on the breakfast menu. And you do not want to have that for your breakfast. It's just too heavy. We're going to go to their lunch and diner menu. Wait for the page to load. And here it starts with the breakfast, as you can see. Again, this is not on the breakfast menu. This is on the lunch and the uh, dinner. And you want to go a tiny bit down here. And this is where you see it. The Thai coconut meatballs. It's $10.49. It's a house-made all beef, so that's good, I can have it because I cannot have pork. House-made all beef, and these are the, the ingredients. Write it down. Chili garlic paste, meatballs, cooked in a coconut cream, served over white rice. So what do we need? We need all beef, we need chili garlic paste, we need coconut cream. Guys, honestly, and we need white rice. So to make it easy for yourself, I'm gonna be babbling. I'm gonna be babbling probably just like anyone else that made this recipe, I'm gonna be babbling, showing all kinds of stuff, but keep it easy for yourself. Just get some ground beef. Uh, add in there something, something Asians, spices that are Asians, doesn't matter what, as long as you add in there the garlic chili paste because we need it to be a little bit hot, yeah? Mix the whole ground beef, minced meat, make little bowls of it, Fry, the, uh, uh, bake them either in your hot air fryer, which I did, or in the oven. Make some rice. And uh, after you, you bake the uh, coconut, uh, the, the meatballs in your oven or in your hot air fryer, then let them cook in a coconut uh, uh, cream, really. Let them cook in coconut cream with a little bit of milk. And then also in that coconut cream, add some of that hot chili garlic sauce. It's all you're gonna need. This is the very fast, fast version of this recipe. And you're gonna thank me, yeah? Trust me, you can do this because me and Mike, we do uh, make Thai food at home and I'm just breaking it down for you. You will get almost the same result, maybe better with this very shortened version that I'm giving you. Uh, so yeah, so this is what it is. This is an authentic recipe from Thailand. Let's see how, let me see if I can show you very quick before we start the video. I know, guys, I know it's taking too long. Sue me. Let's, let's go to Thailand, see how that does look like in Thailand. The authentic recipe, what you hear in the background is Mike taking a shower. So this is the dish as you would find it in Thailand. The, the, in Thailand, they also eat a lot of pork from what I've seen, you know. So you'll probably find it either with mixed minced meat, so a little bit of beef, a little bit of pork, or just beef, or maybe just pork. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's too fat. You can also you can also make it with turkey or with chicken, yeah. 
And in Thailand, they also use curry. But Disney World, for some reason, took the curry out. So it's just coconut cream. But the authentic recipe calls also for curry. That's what gives it this beautiful color that you see here that you won't be seeing at Disney World nor in my video that I'm sharing today because today I'm doing the Disney World version. But just so you know, if you want to keep it really authentic, get some curry paste and add it in there too. And if you really want to go all the way, get some lime and squeeze it on your dish once you serve it on the table. If you want to go crazy, Get some nuts, get some cashew nuts, and throw them in there too when you serve them on the table, right? All right, now I'm gonna shut up and let's start with my Guys, video. Today's gonna be all about the coconut. We're having coconut shakes, milkshakes, and later on, we're gonna be having coconut meatballs. <laughs> all right, guys, so we're here. Chinatown is around the corner. We're gonna get some of the groceries that we need to make them coconut meatballs all right let's go get the groceries meanwhile there's mike's gonna be waiting here for me in the shadow it's so hot today all right we need some things from chinatown so guys couldn't find everything in chinatown go figure so i'm gonna go to the regular grocery shop and get the rest of the ingredients Guys, this recipe is annoying me already. <laughs> we couldn't find everything at the local store that we have here close to us, so I need to go to another different store. Yes. And here's the big mess. It was really, really um, very difficult to convert cups to milligrams to grams because you guys in the US drive us crazy over here in Europe because the cups you use for sugar is not the cups you use for bread crumbs. It's not the cups you use for paste. It's not the cups you use for this. So it was hell. I hope I did it okay. So there they are, guys. This, these are the ingredients that we need. So we need lemon juice, citrus, uh, lemon juice, lime juice, chicken broth, coconut milk, coconut uh, from the uh, can. We need uh, canned tomatoes. We need chili sauce, a uh, paste. We need bread, cr bread crumbs. Um, uh, fish sauce, we need two eggs, we need uh, ground beef, we need heavy cream, and of course the rice to go with it. So, uh, yeah, looks like a lot. I'm just checking, checking. Uh, do we have everything? Yeah, I think we have everything. I'll leave you guys the conversions that I did from the um, US to the European measurements that we use here. And fingers crossed that I did a good job because I had to do it about two to three times before I got it right, I think, and I'm not even sure if I got it right. So let's do this. Look, there's a little Mickey Mouse hiding in there. All right, let's Guys. do this. Step one, step one that I will be doing is just prepare the rice as much as you like according to the instructions, you know, that come with the rice. It's very easy and there's nothing to explain about that because it differs. Com uh, you know, just look up the back of the pack of uh, your rice that you got. And um, yeah, prepare that. Right, so I'm gonna do that first. One of these glasses, note to myself, is more than enough for me and Mike. Guys, me and Mike were just looking at this. 110 grams of chili paste is really a lot of fire. That's not okay. So uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, on a, you know, for 500 grams of ground beef, we're gonna we're gonna start with 50 grams of chili paste. We'll see. You know, uh, better safe than sorry. 50 grams. We're gonna bring back 50 grams. Mm, guys, smell scent of the rice. So next, uh, we're gonna uh, mix the ground beef. So that is 500 grams of beef, only beef. I cannot have pork. It's only beef, 500 grams, two eggs, 50 grams of chili paste, and 33 grams of breadcrumbs. Mix that really good. Guys, I think keeping it at 50 grams was a good call. This is more than enough. Again, I'm having only this problem because I don't know how to exactly convert these American me measurements to the European measurements. So, but uh, I'll learn as I go. All right, the meatballs. 
the rice is dry it's to sit at least 10 minutes the meatballs now uh, you can do the meatballs all at once in the oven uh, but i'm gonna do them in the hot air fryer 350 degrees for roughly 20 minutes in the oven but in the uh, hot air fryer it's gonna be uh, on for me here in europe about 180 celsius for about 15 minutes but I'm, i don't think i'm gonna fit them all at once so i'm gonna do two batches Guys, you find all the instructions in the description box below, I promise. And if I forget, which I tend to do sometimes, please remind me. All right, there you go. Meanwhile, I'm gonna see what's really necessary to still be here and what can I clean up, clean up out of the way and get back to you guys for the next step. So guys, next, we're gonna mix the canned tomato, the lemon, lime, chicken broth and sugar all together and uh, let it you know uh, simmer uh, what I'm gonna say is that this is not you know the advised amount of brown sugar the original recipe gives but we're not too crazy about sugar in food guys sugar is just very unhealthy I know the whole thing is not the healthiest meal but sugar even more so so we try to cut down on those kind of stuff so um, it doesn't matter, I'm just gonna put a little amount that we think is reasonable to put in food. But I'll leave the original uh, amount in the description box below, don't, don't worry about that. All right, there it is, I'm gonna mix it really well and then bring it to boil while mixing it. Yeah, let it not, don't put the fire too, too high. But yeah, it needs to boil and mix it and stir it occasionally. But once it starts boiling, you know, you know you're there. Meanwhile, the first batch of the meat balls are ready. Mm. They smell good, they look good. Crispy, nice and crispy. Let them cool off, take them out and then do the last batch. Yeah, that's the inside. Looks nice and done. What? I'm gonna let you taste them. I'm coming with this plate. So guys, the meatballs taste great, but they're not hot. So maybe, maybe I should have, next time when we're gonna make them at Willing, I'm just gonna go for the full melt. So what did I say, 110? Yeah, you definitely need 110. Yeah, at least 110. Uh, I'll find a way, maybe I'll do it in that sauce, you know, to give it that kick. Maybe I'll add it right now in this sauce for now, but next time, of course, add it to the ground beef. Also, the canned tomato that we have here in, in uh, Europe has uh, you know, a lot of juice, a lot of fluid. And I don't know, I feel like that's not what this recipe needs. I don't know about the canned tomato you guys have in the US, but I'm gonna let it boil a little bit more to get rid of a little bit, you know. I need a little less water in there, fluid. This is not water, but you guys know what I mean. That's a nice sauce. Gooey and... So now I had to wait long for it, but uh, yeah. Now, so next time I'm gonna use diced tomatoes. You guys call it canned tomatoes, but we have here two different canned, uh, kinds of tomatoes, canned. One with a lot of juice, other one more like diced tomatoes in it, less juice. So I'm gonna use diced tomatoes for this one. Now I'm gonna add the coconut milk, the one what, like that that you can drink and use for smoothies, and the one from here, and the fish sauce. The heavy cream we're gonna add a little later, and we're gonna bring everything back to boil. All right. Um, I must say I went a little bit overboard with the canned coconut milk because that one is really coconut milk. The other one is, the other one is just, um, you know, processed coconut milk with water and all that. But this one isn't. So I, I and we love that in food. So I used almost the whole liter from this 900 milliliter or something. You'll see it in the description box. And then I added four tablespoons of this in there. And then of course the fish sauce. So I'm gonna wait for this to boil again. It does smell delicious, guys. Mm. 
Yeah, it smells good. This reminds me of the Thai food. Me and Mike love Thai food and we do make it occasionally. And if we don't make it because we're too lazy, we, we do uh, take out. This reminds me a lot of that. The what? The what? This is a Thai recipe? Oh, okay, okay. I thought it was something Hawaiian. Since it's in Orlando. Okay. Mike says this is a Thai recipe. Apparently he read that somewhere. So, it's served at the Polynesian, but then it's Thai. It's just me making troubles. Why do I need everything to fit? Of course, yeah, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, so, okay, so it is Thai. So, that, there you have it. Mmm, smells so good. almost ready guys stay on it I wanted to clean up the whole kitchen and I forgot this is milk anything that has to do with milk cooks over very fast so I'm gonna clean up this mess I'm so stupid I forgot so stay on it really stay on it this is the last step one cup one cup and a half one and a half cup yeah it goes in Again, stay on it, guys. Don't do what I do. I just left to clean. Don't do that. Whenever you have something that has anything to do with dairy on the fire, don't leave it. It's gonna cook, uh, boil over. So stay on it. Mix it really well. Meanwhile, Mike came into the kitchen. The, s the smell of everything attracted him. No, I'm trying to say that it smells good. It smells divine. It smells divine. It smells like you're on a hammock, hanging under palm trees, swaying palm trees. Hey Siri, stop. All right. We're gonna drop the balls in. Drop them balls in. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. No, that was it. Seventy-one in the air fryer. No, I, I did the two batches. It's this. All right, let them just let them mingle a little bit. Let them stir them on the medium fire. Let them mingle for maybe. Maybe five minutes. Give the meatballs the chance to suck up the flavors. Guys, there it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Look, even Woody takes his hat off. It's that good. The meatballs are a little bit too big and too many. But you guys get the idea. I don't mind. You don't mind. No, no I don't either. All right, guys, Mike just took a bite out of his and he says it's delicious, it's good. It's very good. All right, Yeah. mission accomplished. Yes. All right, guys, now I took a bite and yes, it really, really is good. It really is good. It has this tropical flavor. Yeah. Yeah, I really should try this, guys. Mm. All right, thank you so much for watching. <laughs>